Alrighty, everybody. You are looking live at the new location. Yes, we are here. Yes, we have made it. I have to block the fan with my head here because the light is very bright. <laughs> but we're here. We are ready to talk about indoor football and stuff. I will talk about other things in future videos that will be up also tonight. Um, late tonight and then we'll have a video tomorrow we'll talking about the NBA finals and everything like that so you know it's gonna be real fun it's gonna be real interesting um, but yeah in the indoor football circles the Frisco fighters fell this week to the Massachusetts Pirates um, yeah I expected this to happen at some point you know I mean it was gonna happen you know the fighters they had they, they, they were not they were not looking the greatest out there I'll tell you that much they weren't looking the greatest but they got it they, they got things together when it was you know they got it went together when it was, got together but it was just an unlucky field goal at the end that doomed us you know not playing great is not a recipe for success and now the rattlers own first place after beating up on Tucson because Tucson or with yeah, it was Tucson because Tucson's not not good this year. Um, we also have some other things. I don't. I don't. I don't think there was really a lot. Uh, there wasn't really a lot. I have to actually go back and rewatch um, at least a couple of these games. Well, all three of the IFL games from this weekend um, because uh, I didn't. I didn't get to watch them. I got to watch a couple of highlights from the Frisco Mass game. Um, I will eventually get you know a television up in here because you know. And an antenna because stadium is on. You know, you, you get the antenna, you get the free channels and stuff like that. You know, so you don't have to mess with cable and everything like that. But that's a different story for a different day. Um, there is something big that came out late um, a couple days ago. In fact, um, Robert Kent. Um, yeah. If you don't know that name, he was in the AAL with the North Texas Bulls, who just won the AAL championship a few weeks back, and now he is the head coach because Duke City continues to hire and, and fire coaches at a rapid pace. So poor Van Tate, he is done. He is gone at Duke City. They've had some bad defense throughout the season, and may or may not continue. Who knows? But um. That, that was big for the IFL this week. As usual, Duke City continues to have turnover in the head coach position because I swear they've hired like four coaches in the span of two years. Four or five head coaches in the span of two years. In the NAL, how about those Orlando Predators? They swept the Jacksonville Sharks. Swept them. Swept them right on that batter. Very surprising, honestly. You know, you get a clean sweep of Jacksonville. Now you're looking pretty, Orlando. You're looking pretty. You're looking real nice and prim and proper. Um, because the Sharks, you know, I mean, the game was pretty ugly for about uh, maybe the first half or so. Um, because I dipped in and out because I was so busy. Uh, like, it was like 28-20. at one point. Then it was 28-28 at, like, the start of the third. And then when I came back later, it was um, Orlando had already basically won the game had everything pretty much done so um, yeah um, yeah that that that's a thing what also is a thing is the CIF playoffs it's a thing that's going to happen this week yes and I'm picking the Salina Liberty to win it all so another thing that is going to happen this week or rather, it's going to happen in 2022, is the American Indoor Football Alliance. It's another one of those leagues that just does a scream, you know, mm, I don't like this, I don't like the idea, oh, this is kind of funky. And it is funky because the Carolina Predators, who have been a travel team pretty much their entire existence, the Tampa Bay Tornadoes, who were new in the AAL this year, it's because of the AAL, they got a new logo. But who cares about their new logo? Because it's the AL. You gotta, you gotta get it together with your teams first, you know. Because everybody has left. Pretty much everybody has left now. Charlotte is gone. 
North Texas and San Antonio may be gone, but we haven't heard anything from them about it. Um, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. <laughs> and, you know, who, who's left in the AAL? Well, you know, West Michigan also stated their intention that they were going to leave somewhere, or at least one of the guys that's in the Discord who was with the team said that they were going to leave. I won't disclose his name here, but uh, yeah, who's left in the AAL? Who's left? Because this American Indoor Football Alliance thing is a thing, and also American Indoor Football itself, that's coming back as well. I believe, I think I said something about it last week, but it's coming back as well. It was originally a thing like back in, like two, in the early 2000s, late 2000s, something like that. I don't remember exactly because I didn't watch it, because I didn't... I, I didn't know where it was. I didn't know it existed back then. Um, there's also the Indoor Football Association, but that's so down the list of, of you know suspect leagues you know that exist. So uh, I just I just don't know. I just don't know what's what's going on. Um, said they're going, the Indoor Football Association said they're going to have some changes, but who knows what those changes are, and I, quite frankly, I don't care what those changes are. But moving on from that, you know, um, that, that, I think that's pretty much it, honestly, I think, yeah, that, that, that um, yeah, so if y'all didn't see me in the chat this week in the IFL games or the NAL game, Except for the very end, because there was a dude just spamming stuff uh, at, the, at the end of the Shark Spreads game. And I was just like, stop spamming. Why are you spamming? Nonsense. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, yeah, I guess another thing is, you know, where, you know, what, I, what else I think about the whole AFL thing, you know, or rather, what I think about the IFL expanding. Because, you know, remember, the IFL has been expanding at a rapid pace over the past three years since 2018. The NAL, we'll talk about, we'll put them together. The NAL and the IFL. NAL still interested in Pittsburgh. Who's gonna go out to Who's gonna go out to Pittsburgh? Remember the power. Remember the Berg defenders. Oh yes, the Berg defenders. Oh how rough that was. And the Pittsburgh power was a situation in and of itself as well but what I think it should be happening is that the IFL should be going into the Northeast that's that's where Columbus and Massachusetts are so that they can alleviate those travel costs in the Northeast honestly but in all honesty though IFL should be sticking towards the Midwest and the Southwest but they're not it's okay it's gonna be fine I don't know what in the world. I don't know what in the world is happening in the AWFC either. Just wanted to make a quick note on that. When Wachi, I'm not sure how you pronounce that team's name, but they lost all their home games because of COVID, and they are now a travel team. And then there's a whole situation where the top three teams make the playoffs, but when Wachi can't because it's some nonsense, some some complete nonsense that the AWFC has to pull because it's ran by the Idaho Horsemen. But that's a different story in and of itself, you know. But, um, yeah, back to what I was saying. IFL, I think, is expanding movies. I was trying to tell somebody in the chat, because somebody, or rather, not somebody in the chat, somebody from a video a couple weeks ago when I did something about the AFL coming back. And, you know, he was like, you know, IFL's the top league. I said, it's as close to a top league as you can get, because the IFL has problems. IFL has big problems um, that I think could be adjusted, you know, uh, that a lot of us think could be adjusted, you know, um, and we don't have to elaborate on those here because we elaborate on them every week here on this channel and in other places, so, but I think the IFL expanding into the Northeast is what they're going to have to do, they're going to have to if they want Columbus and if they want Massachusetts to keep funneling, you know, some of their money up in there because ain't, ain't nobody going to the DCU Center. We know Jawadi Yatsman is just throwing money, 
throw the money into the pit, and the IFL is taking that money. Todd and Todd Hiron and his goonies and the Germains are taking some of that money, and the Germains are funneling money in as well. Of course, you know, the Rattlers are funneling, funneling in their money, so because uh, the Rattlers have the best attendance in the IFL, they pretty much have, they pretty much sell out almost every game, that almost every home game. So, so. You know, the, we know we pretty much know where the IFL gets their money from, but somebody in the Northeast has to be gullible enough to be able to get an IFL team. I'm glad there was, you know, a highlight that I saw that was made the Sports Center top ten for the Mass Frisco game last week too. That was pretty nice, honestly. That one-handed catch, and yeah, that was that was that's like the only two pieces of highlights that I watched from. That mass Frisco game. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm sorry. I, I was too busy this weekend. Really busy. Um, but what else? What else am I gonna say? Um, NAL. You know, still thinking about Pittsburgh. They need to get West Virginia back. They need to get West Virginia up focused. They need to get somebody to get Greg, get it off of Greg Fenario's hands, unless he has to, you know, do it alone again. I think somebody can, somebody may. It depends. They just need to get rid of um, Ontario altogether. Get that team up out of there. It's looking kind of rough out there. Get that team out of there. Don't even, don't, whoever, somebody said something about the IFL, don't even consider them because they folded. They pretty much folded before the season. Pretty, that, that, that's pretty much a bad sign right there. It was already a bad sign. They folded before, they folded before the season began. They folded. They're done. Ontario Bandits, they're done. It, it shouldn't have even been considered. It was a stupid decision. It still is. Just like the Louisville Extreme. A dumb decision. Very stupid. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, aside from some IFL games also being worked around again, you know, I believe the Bismarck Bucks lost the game um, to make. Sioux Falls, Iowa, a matchup that will take place in August. And there's also one more thing. One more thing um, that I have to do, I do, I do have to think about and talk about here, is that I, I still do not know. I really don't know what the IFL playoffs are going to be. Somebody has now said it will be top six, and I'm just sitting here like, what, what, top six? What, what happened to top eight? I mean. I don't know at this point. I really don't know what is going on at this point. You know, I just don't know about that. But yeah, that's going to pretty much do it here. And, you know, y'all take care. Have a good week. We're going we're gonna to knock it out the park this week with the North Fall. You know, Friday and Saturday night It's going to be real fun. I, I can't wait for it. I'll see you all in the chats on Friday and Saturday night. I'll take care.